mean, I seen Rodney King on TV. You know, I thought it was all over. And then I seen Trayvon. And then I seen Michael Brown, Eric Garner, John Crawford. Then I seen me. And I just don't believe it. But I was just raising my kids. I was in the middle of cooking lasagna. And I got a knock at the door. I think that this system needs to be dismantled and rebuilt. We will get justice for our children. Believe that. They made me a leader. I didn't ask to be a leader. They made me a leader when they killed my son. I don't care about no money in the world. I don't care about none of that. All I need is an indictment and conviction. Maybe you can get me to be quiet if you do that. But if you ain't going to do that, you just going to have to deal with it. I think that's what every mother wants to ease the pain just a little bit. Eight months after my cousin was murdered, we turned in a petition with 63,000 signatures asking for Magenti to issue an arrest of the officers that killed Tamir Rice. Today, I'm here to turn in a petition with 200,000 signatures asking him to step down and appoint a special prosecutor in Tamir's case. For the past year, a family, a community, has demanded more from Prosecutor McGinty and the officers responsible for pulling the trigger. It is an embarrassment that the prosecutor is not acting in the best interest of the people and of a child's life. Where is he at? I would like to speak with him. I don't think he's going to be available this afternoon. He wasn't available. Can you find out? When will he be available? He said you didn't Not think. Sure. Well, he's he's in a, he's in a court hearing right now and he has meetings this afternoon. Mm. Is he aware that the petitions have been delivered for him to recuse himself? What would you do if it was your twelve year old? How would you feel? I'm sure we'd we'd, we'd I'd feel here? terrible. We'd right. all feel yeah. terrible. Like would we feel terrible about what happened to Tamir Rice. Is admit that you're doing Is nothing. Is Magenti going to advocate uh, for charges against these officers to the grand jury? What what the prosecutor has said is that when the when the investigation is I heard complete, what he said. My question was, is he going to advocate for charges a, against the officers that question. murdered my cousin? What, happy to take your petition. That's all we can do at this point. Do you feel terrible? Or would the body be in a jail? How we're going to use our collective vote to hold people accountable who say they're going to do things for our community. How do we utilize this weekend to long term target? Prosecutor McGinty as like the root cause of the mess that we are seeing. Three weeks out from our March primary, the Democratic race for Cuyahoga County prosecutor is heating up. It is a race that puts incumbent Tim McGinty against former Cleveland Councilman Mike O'Malley. McGinty, gotcha! It's going to take all of us to keep this message in the eyes of the political figures. And let them know that we are watching them, and our vote will matter in the next election. Fight back. Fight back. So we are asking people to rally at the polls and vote McGinty out of office. No justice has been felt in this city. The truth of the matter is.